This morning, I woke up to the news of the killing of Shireen Abu Akhle. Shireen was a veteran journalist for Al Jazeera. Uh, she was a mentor, a colleague, and above all, uh, she was my friend. Shireen was killed while she was doing her job reporting on an Israeli military raid taking place in the occupied West Bank. Uh, her killing sparked outrage and condemnation around the world. Al Jazeera said that the Israeli military targeted Shireen and killed her deliberately. The Israeli government acknowledged that it was conducting an operation in the area, but said that the Palestinian-American reporter might have been killed by Palestinian militants during the gunfight. Now, even though all the eyewitnesses around Shireen at the time, including nearby journalists reporting on that raid, refuted the Israeli claim, the Israeli military actually later backtracked on that, saying it is not possible to determine how Shireen was killed at this point. Now, I'm not going to comment on who killed Shireen, but I am going to tell you who, in my opinion, should not investigate her death, and that is the Israeli military and the government. Time and time again, we have seen the Israeli military operate with impunity in the occupied Palestinian territories, and it goes unchecked. No officers are held accountable. No justice is served. We hear, as we did yet again today, American officials condemn and call for investigations into Israeli abuses. But as history has shown, there is rarely, if ever, any justice for the killing of Palestinians, whether they are American or not, quite frankly. And today, the spokesman for the Israeli military, Ron Kochak, seemingly trying to explain the tragedy by saying that Shireen, quote, was filming and working for a media outlet amidst armed Palestinians. They're armed with cameras, if you permit me to say so. Those were his words. They are not my words. Armed with cameras is exactly how journalists go to war. The only danger they pose is to anyone who would benefit from the horrors and injustices of war remaining hidden from the outside world. It is only because them, those journalists on the ground there today, who were armed with those cameras that we here in New York and around the world know some of the circumstances of Shireen's death. And recently in Ukraine, an American journalist was killed covering the Russian invasion of that country. Did anyone question or try to imply that the journalist was in the wrong for what they were doing and why they were doing it? Now, no one would expect the Russians to fairly carry out an investigation of the American journalist that was killed there. And if history is any indicator, no one should expect Israel to carry out this investigation impartially. Nobody would take that seriously. Now, the killing of journalists, whether it's in Mexico or Ukraine or in the occupied Palestinian territories, that must be condemned and investigated, but not by the countries accused of allegedly killing them, but by independent bodies who claim to uphold free speech and the right to a free press as fundamental human rights. Here in this country, we owe that to our own citizens whose taxes are used to bankroll the Israeli military and the Palestinian Authority, to demand answers when Americans are killed, even when it is at the hands of our allies. Now, today, mourners actually escorted Shireen's flag-draped body. It was covered with the flak jacket that she was wearing uh, that was clearly marked press. Shireen believed in and died to protect that fundamental freedom. She was a fearless reporter who I got to know when I was based in Jerusalem. In fact, she actually took me under her wing and taught me so much uh, about the region and the conflict as newsroom colleagues. We became friends. She was kind. She was gracious. She was hilarious. She was compassionate. Her humanity was unmatched and reflected in the people she covered and the stories that she told for nearly 25 years reporting on the front lines of the Israeli-Palestinian conflict. And while she became a household name across the Arab-speaking world, she also became a role model for millions of young children who aspired to be journalists in one of the most fraught regions of the world to be a journalist. Here she is featured in this Al Jazeera 25th anniversary video in her own words. لحظات الصعبة تغلبت على الخوف فقد اخترت الصحافة كي أكون قريبة من الإنسان ليس سهلا ربما أن أغير الواقع لكنني على الأقل كنت قادرة على إيصال ذلك الصوت إلى العالم أنا شيرين على عقلي That is who Shireen was and that is how she will be remembered and here is Shireen 
on a recent trip to New York during the holidays, posing gleefully outside the Christmas tree right outside our studios at Rockefeller Center. And this is how I will remember my friend.